Look who's blonde. It's your girl Candy. Yeah, I still got the pink hair under here. This is the bad side of the wig. Don't look at this cheap plastic side of the wig. I am going to show you this Gwen Stefani look from her Spark the Fire video. I think is adorable. It's cute. It's awesome. I love it. It's so easy to do. You, I'm going to show you with the extra lashes, but you don't have to put those on. You can just do all the simple steps. So get ready as we come along, and I'll show you how to do this look. I'm kind of loving this blonde hair. Okay, I'll stop looking at my hair, and we'll start with the tutorial. Prepare yourself back to pink hair and no makeup candy in three, two, one. Okay, so everything I'm using today can be found in the drugstore. It is all entirely from Revlon. I'm using all Revlon. Gwen is a Revlon ambassador. I'm a Revlon ambassador. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is our foundation because that is the most important. We're going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready airbrush effect, which I love because you really can get a perfected airbrush look. And I'm gonna use a little Revlon spongy tool as well. And I just dab and press it onto the skin. I really like this flat tip part because you can get really up close to the lash line as well. Now I'm going to take Revlon Photo Ready Concealer and I'm just going to use this as kind of like a primer on my eyelid. I always do this with my concealer anyway. And we're just going to go underneath the eyes. Switch this over to the rounded side and then you can push in along the nostril. The nose, under the eye area. Now we need to set it with powder so I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder in light. And we just want to set our foundation and press it in around the eyelid. You wanna set those guys too. I know, foundation takes the longest. I always feel like it's like the most boring part of the video. It's like, okay, let's move along and get to the fun part. I think we're looking very pale, very perfect, just like I wanted. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the blush. This is the Revlon Oh Baby Pink Blush. And I have this cool, I'm just gonna try this. It's the airbrush effect. You can switch the shape of these guys. So I'm just gonna take some of the pink and roll it on here. I've never actually done it like this, but I'm just gonna put, place the blush right on my cheek. And for this look, she doesn't really have like a lot of blush. Blush. I'm just gonna add like a little pop of color. This is kind of really fun to do your blush this way. So it's barely adding like a little glow. I don't really want it to look like a lot of blush because her look, it looks like there isn't any really even on, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my face. Okay, now that our cheek flushing is all set, it's time to move to the eyes. So this color is amazing. It's the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in 705. It's like this beautiful pearly color, and this is a key to Gwen's like beautiful baby doll kind of open eye, which I think is gonna be really fresh for like a new summer look. Also just like a bare beautiful eye. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and the little brush that comes right in the cap. And I'm just gonna pack this on. And this really lasts all day long and makes your eyeshadow or anything you place on top last a really long time. I'm just going to spread this here in the center. A little over on this side. Okay, now it's time to do eyeshadow. So this is the 505 Impressionist um, Revlon eyeshadow palette. Whoops, there goes his little brush. And I'm gonna take my all over shadow brush and I'm gonna take this light highlight color and I'm just gonna press it right down here on the inner corner and then drag it toward the mid part of the eye so we get that really pretty pop of shimmer right there. And then up here, it kind of works like the eye, like this is the highlight part under the brow so it's kind of set up that way in the palette. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that highlight. Ooh, look at that, underneath our brows. Then I'm gonna go back over to this a palette. Whoa! Dropping him. This is the Rustic Palette in 523 from Revlon. So it's got like more goldy hues in it. And I'm gonna take this color and we're going to sweep him kind of from the crease all the way up to that highlight area. Then I'm gonna go back over to this Impressionist Palette and get this kind of all over the lid color. And I'm gonna pop him in the outer corner and then gently shade him in and up into the crease. And I'm just gonna press him right here. If you don't have a crease, just push it in around the, your eyeball and it'll just go in where a fake crease would be made. And then we're just gonna kind of soften and blend him out to the side just a little, just a tiny bit. This look doesn't have like a lot of contouring, just like a really pretty fresh eye look like that. Then I'm gonna take our eyeliner brush and I'm going to dip him into this same brown color right there. And I'm just going to gently press this underneath the lash line. Now I'm going to do the brows before we go into lashes. I always like to start off at the point and then go do this underline and fill these guys in on top and create our tail. The good thing about this formula is it has like, like a waxy consistency. So it acts like a seatbelt, like it holds your brows into place. Like, oh, you're not going anywhere. I got you, you're staying right here. Look at that brow, look better already. Fill them in over here. 
get our spoolie guy, brush them up. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of eyeliner. So I gotta bring my, my mirror much closer to me for this because we're getting very, very tricky here. So this is the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. So I'm going to hold on to my eyelid and I always like to start right in the middle of the eye and bring him up to the side and go back in and fill in all that space. And there's not much of a wing to this look, but I'm just gonna do a slight something to like elongate the eye. So I'm just gonna do like a little baby wing. There we go, just a little baby wing guy. So we'll start over here, do the same thing. Whoa, when we're up close, I see I really need to do some eyebrow tweezing. The lash lines go right in, right on the inside of like where the skin is on the eyelid, you'd wanna start right in there and then pull him out. And then and then right at the corner of our eye, we're just gonna continue it where this part curves upward. That's where we're gonna put our little wing, our little baby wing. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna take my angled brush again. This is the Surreal Eyeshadow Palette from Revlon, and I'm just gonna take black right here and my angled eyeliner brush. This is actually the smoky eye brush. One side has an angle and one side has this smudgy guy. This is such a cool little brush. So I'm just going to press him right on top of the eyeliner we just did. And this will help make it look a little more matte black and it'll soften any little wobbly things. But I really push it in at the lash line because I want it to look real black. Okay, so now we're going to curl our lashes. So I'm gonna be using the Revlon Extra Volume because who doesn't want extra volume? in their lashes. So I'm gonna do a few coats of this, top and bottom. So while that is drying, we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. So this is the Revlon Colorstay in Fuchsia, and we're going to slightly overdraw the lips for sure because that's kind of like what this look requires. So I'm just gonna start here, and this is such a good shade of hot pink. Like, everyone should get this for summer for your pop of color hot pink summer lip color. And you fill it in a little more at the corners. You soften the outside line and then do the top lip. And for her particular lip look, it's very like rounded down and outward, so I'm gonna make sure we do that. And then we soften the edges again, fill in the corners. Now we're going to take our lipstick color. This is called Sultry Samba. Look at this color. Oh, I love this color. I just want to like bite it. I love it so much. So you're just gonna. Ah, this color is so good. Mmm, this pink is so good. Now we're going with another coat of mascara because we're even gonna put some lashes on for this look because I think this is a key part of the look that she actually has on. It's gonna kind of make these look like big baby doll lashes. I got these different lashes from Revlon, so these are great because they're reusable. And the cool thing about these, they're so cool, there's little cut marks. Can you see through the case the cut marks on the lashes of where to trim them for different sizes so you can make them more like a demi-wispy? That is so helpful for people just getting started in wearing lashes. So I got these full strips because it looks like she has full strip lashes on. And then I also got the Revlon Precision Clear Glue, which I like because it's latex free um, because I have like a latex allergy. So latex in eyelash glue look makes my eyes itch. So I'm just gonna wing it. I don't know my little eyelash cutting scissors. I'm gonna use these jumbo pairs. So I just cut like, I don't know if you can see it. I'm just gonna cut this last little part off. You could use the markings on the packaging if you buy them also. So then we take our glue. This is weird, I always start putting my eyelashes on with my right eye first, so this is a little weird. I don't know why I did this for me. <laughs> Throwing some real big curveballs. I'm just going to flop them down. Then we're gonna take our glue and do the same thing over on the other eyelash. Okay, so I just did a test eye with these lashes to replicate this baby doll kind of lash look that she has. So I took this bigger pair of lashes and I'm gonna show you what we did. So you're gonna cut these in little sections, like little tiny sections about that size. You're just gonna go through and cut these guys off like this. Whoops. And I'm gonna cut like four or five of them. Perfect. Okay, so you take one of the longer pieces that you cut like this and then what I do is I just brush the end of him onto the actual little wand of the mascara, or the eyelash glue, and then I stick him on the outer part of the lashes, and I push him down, 
and you can see how it made it look longer and like it looks like there's sections of longer lashes so get our glue we just rub the base of him onto that right there so you get glue on there and we're gonna scoot over just another chunk and we're gonna stick him down I scoot him over just so there's like a space and then another lash because it looks like that's what's going on so do the same thing stick him on there then you stick him down on your eye and then you can take a tweezer and place him more perfectly right there so we got our last little tapered one I'm gonna stick him right on in the inner corner right here and then just give him a little push down perfect so that is our baby dual lash and then last but not least from the Impressionist palette in 505, I'm going to take a little bit of this highlight color and I'm going to dab it on dab it on the tip of my nose and down the center for a little bit of highlight and even take a little bit on this sponge like so and I'm going to hit the cheekbone right there just for a little bit of, ooh, look at that glow, look at that glowy glowy glow. So we are almost done, but to complete this transformation, I'm gonna put my little wiggy wig on and the bow I bought at Michael's Craft Store and show you how it looks all together. Are you ready? And Viola, look, I got blonde hair. What do you guys think? Should I go back to my blonde hair? And when I see this on, I'm like, kind of like, hey, oh, I miss being a blonde. Uh, don't look at the side. This is kind of a terrible plastic wig I tried to make look as good as I can. I literally like eyelash glued this hair down <laughs> to the side. <laughs> but make sure you guys subscribe to me for our question of the day. If you could have any hair color uh, that you don't currently have on your head, what would it be? Would it be blonde? Would it be blue? Would it be pink? What would you do? And uh, make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those places to see all kinds of things all over the place. Snapchat's a pretty fun place. Instagram stories, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. I post different things on all of them. So you should follow me everywhere. Just Candy Johnson all over the place. And we're gonna finish this off with a hug. So right arm around, left arm around. Give yourself a hug, squeeze. Do it, do it right now and pretend that's for me. Always remember that you are more beautiful than you know. You're more talented than you even think. And you are more loved than you could possibly imagine from this girl who's always cheering you on to stand out, be different, be unique, be awesome. And I love you no matter what style you got going on. I, I, I'm just kind of really liking this blonde hair. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!